You will need two note cards, a pair of scissors, a hole puncher, some pipe cleaners, and some markers, crayons, or colored pencils, or any decorating supplies you have. First, take your two note cards and cut them both in half. Now you should have four pieces. Take two of your pieces and place one of the pieces facing up and put the other piece on top of it. Then take another one of your pieces and turn it over and place it on top. Then take your other piece and place it on the bottom. So it looks like that on the front and back. Next, you want to punch some holes in your pieces of paper. To help keep the paper together, you can use a paper clip, and I am going to do that right now. So I've just finished punching out all the holes. It was kind of hard to punch out the holes considering this is like cardstock and there was four layers. So if you can't do it yourself, make sure to ask a parent to help you. Next what you want to do is take a pipe cleaner and loop it through the holes. I'll show you how to do this right now. So I have my pipe cleaner right here. See this first hole at the bottom right here? You are going to stick the pipe cleaner in there and then turn to the back. As you can see, leave a small excess right here. What you want to do is you want to loop it and stick it in the next hole above and then pull it. You can adjust it with your finger if you want. And then just keep repeating this until you get to the top. Then I'll tell you what to do. Okay, so I have just finished, and what you want to do is you want to take the excess pipe cleaner, and you are going to stick it through this first loop, then stick it through the second, then the third, then fourth, and fifth. It depends how many holes you've made. And so, I am going to do that right now. So as you can see, I've pulled it through, and what you want to do is you want to take your two ends of pipe cleaners and you want to twist them. And then you want to cut off the excess. So I finished cutting off the excess. You want to be careful with the ends, try not to get poked by them. Now you can remove the paper clip, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off the excess right here and right here. So as you can see I've just finished the notebook. I just added some little detail and some decorations on it with my markers. So yeah, I hope you like this tutorial and make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye guys!